How do you do? Now I apologize in advance for the quality, the video quality of the video. I tried to raise things with the bitrate and stuff. Didn't really work without kind of making stuff lag. Fortunately, you really only have to listen to what I'm saying. You don't necessarily have to see what the video is. So if you want to listen to this in a side tab while I go over this, that's totally fine. But pretty much, the dev blog, you know, on the Nexus and such like that, they came out with the state of ranked. We reflect on the season, reveal the rollback of the position ranks, and detail a partial reset for Diamond Plus by Riot Sat Magic nine hours ago. And so a TLDR is basically we're happy with some of the rank changes like the placement reworks and positional matchmaking is an improvement in several areas. However, the reception of position ranks has not not been positive. So we're discontinuing the global rollout and ending the positional ranks preview in Korea and North America on March 13th. We have also concluded our investigation in Diamond Plus matchmaking rank issues. To fix them, we'll be setting all Master Plus players to zero LP masters and demoting Diamond players by one division floored at Diamond 4 by late March, meaning the lowest you can go down to is Diamond 4 if you're in Diamond or higher right now. And then the blog itself reads like this. Hi everyone, Ed Satmagic, I can't say the last name, I'm probably going to butcher it, I'm sorry, Altofir, Altof yeah, here, back again to talk about Ranked. Last week we recapped some of the biggest issues we're facing with position ranks, high skill matchmaking, and the top of the ladder. In this article, we're detailing our solutions and timeline for fixing those issues. Since this is likely to reach a broader audience than our initial update, we've included some information that might feel repetitive if you've been following along. Alright, enough introduction, let's dive in and talk about the state of ranked. Let's just jump into it. What's working? So far, many players seem to be enjoying the placements rework, which starts you off at a more predictable rank and gives you feedback after each game. We're also excited to see what we can do with splits. We think rewards that unlock and rank up with you in real time have a ton of promise. On the matchmaking side, we're happy with how positional matchmaking, not to be confused with position ranks, is working. Queue times have improved for many players and off positions win rates have gone up. On top of that, primary position rates have improved, and in many cases, autofill rates have gone down. With some of our other changes, it'll take more time before we know whether we need to make additional tweaks. Specifically, we're interested in your feedback on split reward content, borders, and past rank banner trims. And that makes sense because we haven't completed a full split in ranked yet, so we can't actually get feedback on that because they haven't really even rolled that out yet for us to know. Now the big one, position ranks. With position ranks, we decided to run a preview in North America and Korea as a way to gather feedback and iterate on the features before rolling it out more broadly. Uh, six weeks into the season and after numerous bug fixes and tweaks, a significant number of you are still frustrated with the grindiness, low satisfaction of off position games, and teammates not taking off position games seriously enough. That's not just on social media either. We're constantly polling players to understand what they like or don't like about League. Since position ranks launch, we've seen a dramatic negative shift by 20 to 30 percent in satisfaction with the feature in both North America and Korea. I wonder if that means just like what the 80 to 70 percent of people actually don't have a negative shift though, which is kind of interesting. Then that means that 20 to 30 percent have been very vocal though, so they probably seem like the majority. Interesting statistic, I'm just going to plug that in there to see if anyone maybe knows that answer that's listening right now. After reviewing your feedback, we regrouped and considered all the changes we could make to improve the system. Ultimately, we didn't feel like we could make position ranks the experience you deserve by tweaking LP splashing or making changes to promotion series. Many of you simply aren't happy with the core trade-offs of the system. Since the beginning, we vowed to develop this feature with you and promised we would roll it back if you were not enjoying it. We stand by that promise. So on March 13th, we're ending the position rank preview in North America and Korea and discontinuing the rollout of position ranks globally. And here's how the rollout will work, or the rollback, whatever you want to call it. Your highest position rank becomes your new rank. We'll preserve your rank, LP, and promotion series status and progress. If your highest rank is provisional, it will carry over with the same number of games remaining. You'll keep your rewards. Your ranked armor and any split rewards will stick around and you won't lose any progress. All promotion helper benefits carry over. We'll remember the highest rank you've achieved across all positions and use that to determine promotion helper eligibility. 
Even though we're ending the position ranks preview, we've made a ton of improvements to matchmaking the process of building the feature, like faster queue times and higher primary position rates. That we'll be keeping. We're also looking into keeping positional matchmaking, which would make off position games feel more fair without positional ranks. We'll share more when we have a solid plan. When it comes to high MMR matchmaking ranks, the thing we're probably all here for, here we go. We've also seen numerous matchmaking issues affecting players in Diamond and above. Some of this is expected since we're rebalancing the top tiers and expanding the size of Master, as I've noticed in our previous update. But there are still some legitimate issues we need to fix as well. There are two in particular we want to address. First, adding Iron and Grandmaster tiers introduced a bug that allowed a non-trivial number of players, up to 155 on one server, to get Grandmaster despite having a win rate below 40%. Another related bug allowed some Diamond players to climb to higher ranks than they should have been able to. In both cases, we fixed the underlying issues that let players get into higher ranks than they should have, but now players feel stuck since they're losing more LP than they gain while their rank recalibrates. On top of that, we've heard consistent feedback that the top of the ladder feels less legitimate due to the lingering effects of these bugs. Given enough times, Decay and Normal Play will get these players back to where they belong based on their skill, but it will take several months or longer for that to happen, during which time high skill players would continue to feel frustrated about the quality of their games. Instead of leaving the ladder in its current state for a large chunk of the season, we're going to perform a partial ladder reset in all regions in late March for players in Diamond and above. While we're currently targeting late month, make late munch, yes, sure, I'm hungry, I should probably have munched on something, sorry. We're, while we're currently targeting late March, we need to thoroughly test our approach or we could risk introducing new problems. Once we have a firm date, or if we need to adjust the timing, we'll share more details with you. Here's how the reset will work. Master, Grandmaster, and Challenger players will become Master 0 LP. Resetting the top of the ladder will accelerate the demotion players who got to Master through exploring early season bugs and help normalize LP gains. Diamond players will demote one division floored at Diamond 4. These demotions will improve but not completely fix LP gains for players who got a higher rank than they should have been in the early season. You'll keep your rewards, but they will match your new rank. You won't lose any reward progress, but if you have the split one emote or armor upgrade, they'll match your post-reset rank. Grandmaster and Challenger will temporarily lock. Grandmaster will unlock one week after the reset and Challenger will unlock a week after that. A mid-season partial reset is painful, so we want to limit it to as few players as necessary to fix the issue outlined above. We're not seeing these problems at lower ranks, so it would be unfair and unnecessary to reset progress for all players. We're deeply sorry for the frustrations we know this will cause for players who earn their spot legitimately, but we believe this partial reset is necessary to preserve the integrity of the top of the ladder. You can't have your cake and eat it too, right? What's next? On behalf of the team, thank you for working together with us on positional ranks and the rest of the rank changes. We're committed to working with you to build experiences you love. Sometimes that means taking big swings and missing the mark. We hope that over time we'll get to share the benefits of this approach to development and we hope you'll be willing to join us in the next journey, wherever that may take us. Until then, if you're seeing any other issues that aren't captured here or just have feedback on Ranked, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for all your help and patience and we'll see you on the Rift. So in conclusion, Basically, especially because of the bugs and inflated MMR and stuff, they're doing the resets to hopefully weed some of those players out. They'll be like at the bottom, basically, of Diamond or Masters. And then because they're not at the MMR they should be, the skill level they should be, they'll probably continue to lose and then get kind of out of Diamonds and Masters. It does kind of hurt the players that probably deserved or earned their places. But hopefully it means that you guys will just be good enough to get back to those spots. I know that's not really a good consolation, especially for me of all people. But like, that's my hope is that it'll also then kind of be easier because then some of those players who abused bugs or stuff won't be in your game. So maybe that, you know, that AD carry who was abusing a bug that otherwise would not have been maybe a good AD carry on your team. They won't be in your game at all. And instead you'll have like a reliable AD carry and as such you'll be able to win those games back anyways. Overall... I'm, I'm like 50-50, right? Because on, on one hand, I understand that something like this takes a long time to really gain a lot of data to, you know, do. A lot of people like reset ranked at like day two. There's not enough data on day two to really reset ranked. But obviously now there's been enough data and also they've come up with solutions on how to fix stuff because they really kind of wanted this idea to work is why it took six weeks. They really wanted to see if they can maybe tweak some things and then get some more feedback, which, you know, that kind of takes time to do, unfortunately. 
uh, to see if it could work and ultimately they made the decision that it couldn't so they're pulling the plug I was kind of optimistic about it I kind of like the idea of the positional ranks right if, if, if I'm one game away from let's say theoretically my diamond three promos and then suddenly I have to play like my worst rank because I got auto filled it kind of felt good that the MMR would instead be what I would be at in my worst role instead of me trying to get to that d3 promos on my worst role that I didn't climb to almost get to d3 with that varies, depends. Of course, if you're more of like a jack of all trades player, you're not really a one trick, you play multiple roles, maybe that doesn't really apply to you. And that's totally fine. I'm not trying to say like, if you don't agree with me or something, you're wrong. I'm just explaining like, there were maybe like promises or like potential. That's the, that's the word I usually hear people say. There's potential for it to make it work, but it didn't work. And so after six weeks of gathering feedback, they're making the decision, they're pulling the plug, and this is what's gonna go down. So with that being said, in the comment section down below, I wanna actually ask you guys a question, if you're listening this far, and it's that, did you actually think this does have promise, even if it wasn't implemented correctly? Like for me, I think it potentially was a good system. I think there definitely were promises that could have worked with it, but it wasn't like implemented very well is where I see the problem actually being. Not so much it itself, but it wasn't like executed properly. But maybe you have a different opinion, and I'd love to hear that opinion down in the comment section down below. But with that being said, are you excited for the ranked reset? Are you actually someone that thought maybe people were complaining a bit too much about it? And this is actually, you know, they're caving to a community that was just kind of being, you know, angry about it or something like that whatever the case is let's have a conversation thank you so much for watching or maybe listening to this video make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that bell notification the actual subscribe button but i don't know which video will be next because life can have a lot of kinks so until this time take care gg get jinxed thank you for watching and enjoy pizza responsibly